guys, this is Damodoc82 for part 8 of my let's play of Dawn of War Soulstorm, the Imperial Guard campaign. So, last time, we took this area right here from the Necrons. Um, we reinforced it a little. So, yeah, let's go ahead and drop a save real quick. Something I should warn you guys, this game has a fairly nasty chance of crashing on you. So, yeah, saving's usually a very good idea. Alright, so let's in turn. Whew, I was worried that the Necrons were going to try to retaliate there, but it looks like they won't. Alright, so now we're going to try taking the Necron base. And when we start this, we're going to want every advantage that we can get. There we go. Now, this may come as a surprise, but... It may never be known what first awakened... Let me just let this guy talk. ...the cold legions of the Necron from their vast burial vaults in the southern coast of Karava III. Archives suggest that Imperial Guard survey crews may have been dispatched to coastal Imosa several months before the conflict. Others point to the strange and unknown influence of the Warp Storm which could somehow have roused the deathless Necrons from their slumber. Out of the dry Emosan sands, an ancient complex emerged. Part burial ground, part power plant, part staging ground. As builder scarabs removed sands and restored structures to power, its clean-cut symmetrical and lifeless form emerged. It pulsed with the green glow of the strange power which fuels the Necrons. Vast reserves of it. Enough to drive an endless stream of monoliths and Necron soldiers. Anyone foolish enough to assail this unearthed necropolis would do well to heed that flow of energy. It is the source of the Necrons' power, and if unchecked, there is little limit to what strength Necrons could marshal against their foes. I got a little video here for you guys to watch. So, they come. Drink of it and awake. They shall meet their ends. They shall join. The army of death. All 
All right, so I'm just going to pause the game here real quick just to give you guys a brief rundown of how this is going to work. Um, there is a monolith in each of the four corners of the map here, 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 and here. All the monoliths are going to be like in this square-like thing. And uh, basically we got to take them up before they become fully restored. Which, believe it or not, is going to be shockingly easy to do. <laughs> um, so our first objective is... Well, let me just unpause this. Looks like everything's in order. We're going to start taking these Thank points. Four monoliths have been sighted. It, uh, it looks as though they're being powered up. We'll have to put a stop to that. We can't have four of those things bearing down on us. We're not going to have four of those things bearing down on us. I don't even worry about it. Uh, how about you guys go over there and give them a hand, huh? Drive them back. No quarter. But believe it or not, Necrons is actually probably one of the easiest races, or at least as far as their um, as far as their strongholds go, theirs can actually be the easiest if you're the Imperial Guard. I'll be showing you guys how here in a little while. But first, we need to get our base up and running. We're going to have these guys come over here, take that position back. So they leave us with like th three Looks like everything's in order, of these um, Looks like everything's strategic in order, points. I hear the machine spirit is assured. As you wish, so shall it be. And By the Emperor. we only have like one, one of those uh, relics. on this map, um, but there's going to be a uh, deceiver there. So just something to be aware of. Um, let's get this thing upgraded. And I think we have enough resources where we can upgrade the command center. Alright, now we're going to need set up another Hmm. Could we put it over here? Yeah, let's stick it over here. All right, you boys, you're gonna sit right here. You heard the man. Jump to. And you're just gonna stand your ground. Same with you guys. You're gonna come right over here, and you're gonna stand your ground. We got a pretty good influx of resources now. Um, and you want right. to climb that tech tree on this as fast as you can. Again, I'll show you why here after a little bit. Points, General, we can stop the flow of power. Yeah, these locations are the ones that he's talking about. And don't worry about them. I never do. Because you're just going to feel like you're chasing your tail the whole time. Support. If such is the Emperor's will. All right, uh, we need sir, more bodies sir. over here. Looks like everything's General, in order, sir. sir. The hand of the Emperor came all. directly from Understood. summoning core at the back of the city. Destroying that might be no We can't hold them. God, you guys are such pansies. My is my duty to serve. Please, <gasps> too much for us. By the Emperor, you will have it. It is my duty to serve. Thought they broke our backs. Ha! By the Emperor, you will have it. All right. We need you guys to be a little bit stronger, please. Is this upgraded? Yes. It has. Excellent. Okay. So now we're going to need a mechanized command. Um, I believe that will fit right about here. We're going to need a second place to put one of those. A 
As you wish, so shall it be done. And we can upgrade you. Or at least we can in a little Only bit. Take me a moment. But yeah, you need to get this base up and running fast. Actually, let's just have you start researching, get the uh, requisition rate up a little faster there. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to need some turrets over this way. Of course, we can't put them down because our requisition rate is low as shit. By the Emperor. Okay, you, you guys can stop have. reinforcing. What are your orders? It is my duty to serve. It is my duty to serve. Yeah, that's where all my wrecks been going into upgrading those squads. If such is the Emperor's will. Let's put you over here. And Tiger as you wish, so shall it be done. Yeah, the plasma weapons work a lot better on these guys. They'll probably work even better once we get a few more upgrades. Uh, we can finally upgrade this dude. I am on it. It will be my honor. And we want to get us a couple of basilisks because they're amazing. You see, they barely even made a dent in our defenses now that we got a couple of upgrades. I really want this one here, but what you gonna do? All right, we need that like yesterday. Only take me Can we moment. upgrade the outpost over here? Yes. Standing ready. A true servant never yields to doubt. This flank is still fairly weak. I am honored that you require my skills. As you wish, so shall it be done. I think this might be a good place to put one of those. worthy of my skill. I'm honored that you require my skills. And we'll skills. put one about right here. Initiating construction. What are your orders? And there comes the next wave. I am on it. Yeah, we're not worried about that right now, Guardsman. Not yet, anyway. What are your orders? Yeah, we can afford to upgrade those units now. Satellite targeting resolution will be handy. No, 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 no. You guys do not go over there, like, ever. You're just gonna hold your ground there and beat the shit out of everything that comes into range. That's your only purpose in life right now. Uh, do we have room for a second mechanized command? Please tell me we do. No, we do not, because this thing is in the way. Uh, yeah, let's just nuke it for now. We can replace it. And second mechanized command is going to go right here. Initiating construction. This dude over here, he's going to replace our power generators. Right there. A challenge worthy of my skill. All right, so we're good there. Then we're gonna go for full-scale war as soon as we can. But it's also important to make sure that these things are fully upgraded. 
because you will need lots and lots of requisition to get through this. I believe this one's fully upgraded. Yes, we'll go ahead and grab the uh, upgrade to make it generate more. We're going to go ahead and grab the Vindicare Assassin. Ah, yes, that's what I'm looking for. Let's make our guardsmen a bit tougher too while we're at it. Let's get us a basilisk. We're gonna need a two basilisks and two Lehman Rust to take all these out. But I think I'm probably gonna back them up with some uh, Carsigans. Alright, we're gonna go full scale war. What do you Is that a best yep. Now they're just mowing them down. Yeah, these guys up front are gonna take a little bit of heat from it, but that's okay. They're more or less your meat shield anyway. There we go. Uh, you need to upgrade, and we're going to need that second basilisk. Actually, how about you build a second basilisk, and we'll scrap that one here. So yeah, you're probably going to go through like maybe a tier or two trying to do this strategy. Don't worry about it. And we're going to get some Karskins. Okay, so let's go here and here. Now these Necron um, monoliths here, they're really easy to take out. Because we're just going to drop like three artillery strikes on each one and kill them. The only reason why we need the tanks is they run escort duty. While our basilisks do this. Warming up the engine, my lord. Mine gun ready! Ah! And. Take them now! I think that got it. Did we get that one? I don't know now. I will do as you ask. Yep, that got it. Okay, I guess it took four this time because it's a higher difficulty. Alright, now we need to get those Lehman Russ ready to go, as soon as we unlock them. Shall I get started? Alright, Corsicans. 
put you here. And we'll take these two guys. And we're going to see if we can't perch them up here and fire up on this uh, monolith down here. Yeah, Earth Shaker rounds is how you're going to get through this. I think we're just going to put a Vindicator Assassin like right there. By the Emperor's will, we are here. And of course, we want to get a Psyker to put with our Carsicans. Where's my Basilisk? Okay, are we upgrade for Lehman Russ? Yes, we are. Excellent. We're gonna want both of them over here. Don't mind that sound, just had a video editing in the background. Sounds like our Vindicare Assassin's already killing things. Lovely. Alright, so let's see here. Are we going to have enough range to hit this? I kind of doubt it. Yeah. You know, we need to get closer. Okay, that's not a problem. Uh, you're going to hold your ground. And we need your infiltration upgrade. Uh, where's the car skins? Okay, we need those guys completely upgraded. Alright, you guys, you're gonna go to this point here and essentially kill everything that comes in your path. Yes, we did. Alright, where's my Psyker at? You're gonna attach yourself to this squad here. You guys are gonna start clearing a path to here. Uh, is that close enough to drop an artillery strike on? Almost. Can we do it from here? But yeah, basically your Lehman Russ are going to escort your two artillery pieces around and you're just going to nuke these things from afar. We're just going to drop artillery strikes on those things till they disappear, more or less. Come on, baby. Yeah, Carskins give no fucks. No fucks whatsoever. I'm gonna finish upgrading them. Uh, did we take this out? Let's check the objectives. No, we haven't destroyed it yet. Okay. So we still need to drop more artillery strikes on it. Standing by. 
That's why we need to get this going fast. Okay, good. That's dead. The base seems like it's pretty well defended for now. Alright. In theory, you could probably do this with, like, maybe two Lehman Russ and one Basilisk, but having two gives you a little more flexibility. We want you boys right about here, along with... My These guys, we go there. You guys aren't going to do an attack, you're just going to drive to that point. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good on that front. I do want uh, some heavy weapon squads up here. Yeah, you guys don't need no fire support, trust me. Just gonna let them guardsmen mow these Necrons down. We need to get you the hell out of there because... Yeah. Okay. You're gonna go here, you're gonna go here, and you're gonna go here. You, sir, you are going to drop artillery strikes here. And we're just gonna rinse and repeat until all four are gone. Once all four are gone, you win the mission. Is this cheesy? Possibly. Do I care? No. Heavy weapons on the field. Like I keep telling people, real life commanders don't want fair fights. They want to make things as easy as possible. Okay, do we need more artillery? Now you could probably rush this with like a bunch of armor and infantry, but this is actually easier. Because the, be the, the um, monoliths are fairly well guarded. But as you can see there, we just have one monolith left. Don't bother going for the relic up there, it's, it's pretty well defended, and, uh, yeah. Just not worth it. Besides, there's hardly enough room in your base to be, um, running Bane Blades through it. You guys are going to go about here.
Plasma is a great problem solver. Uh, where I'm probably gonna lose that Basilisk. That's fine. As long as we got one over here, we should be able to take this out. Where's the Carsicans? Do they get killed? Nope, they're down over here. Sitting on their asses. What do you require? Very well. Alright, we're gonna drop another artillery strike there. Looks like they're coming in for another wave down here. Of course, upgrade these guys to auto cannons. Yeah, we're just gonna keep dropping artillery shells till we win the mission. Nice! And that's all four of them down. And this will probably be like one of the easiest uh, strongholds that you'll probably do in Soulstorm as the Imperial Guard for that reason. So yeah, now the Necrons are no longer a factor here. Which is always nice. Had the 252nd Conservator Regiment, under its former commanders, ever taken their census and survey duty seriously, the ancient Necron stronghold of Kaurava III would probably have been awakened hundreds of years prior to the Kaurava conflict. Whether their failure to keep any presence on this wasteland planet was remarkable luck or dismal negligence is now debated heavily by Imperial historians. Invigorated under the capable command of General Stubbs, the Imperial Guard showed their best face, and everything that the ancient exhumed necropolis set against them were beaten back with ample munitions, perseverance, and heavy armor. Adapting the example set in the War of Cronus, General Van Stubbs had cargo loads of bombs shipped to the Emosan Plains, and every inch of possible Necron catacomb was subject to multiple detonations. Following the victory, Stubbs forbade any future Imperial surveys of Kaurava III. Probably wise of him, not gonna lie. And there we go. He defeated another race, and we've earned troop recovery. Alright, so the plans for next time is we're going to take this territory, this territory, and then we're probably going to take out the Eldar. Now, Eldar have a very useful uh, ability here, Fleet March. You can move a lot faster with them. So we want, well, sometimes when you're going through the campaign, you're not going to be able to spend like every turn attacking another uh, faction. So with this, it makes it easier to do that. 
Alright, well I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been Damodoc82. I hope you guys have yourselves a hell of a day, and keep your hammer high. Later.